I think we are at least a little bit uh, appreciative that the Prime Minister finally has made a statement in the right direction that the rupee depreciation has indeed uh, uh, cost Sri Lanka about 800 milli billion more in terms of paying our uh, in terms of debt service. So, uh, the, uh, uh, so I believe that the depreciation of the uh, rupee has been catastrophic in terms of in economic terms in pay, in in debt, in debt payment. This is a uh, issue which the government will soon have to answer and explain to the country how they are planning to uh, settle the the due debts without going into insolvency. And also, uh, we must also point out that the the finance minister uh, during the previous uh, few days has gone on record to say that he is taking away the bad taxes on certain uh, certain items which he himself um, stated it will be apl applicable during the budget speech. But we would like to ask the minister, uh, I think that taking away the 15% VAT is just not enough, but if you take away the VAT, we know that that it has to be, the, the revenue targets will be uh, we will miss the revenue targets, so the finance minister needs to explain to the country how, by how he's going to uh, overcome this issue. One uh, macroeconomic problem which we have seen in Sri Lanka is that year on year we have missed revenue targets. So if we miss our revenue targets, what happens is that we either need to borrow more or we need to cut, cut our spendings. So most of the time we have borrowed more and also cut our spendings, that has uh, triggered, uh, triggered the, the, the uh, unsuccessful economic growth because primarily we can't do any um, planning with that. So we believe that once a budget is made, we need, every effort has to be made to stay within that budget. The whole purpose of it being called a budget is uh, from the essence of the word uh, is that that we need to stay within the budget. So the, the finance minister telling the public he's going to give relief is not enough. The finance minister needs to tell the public that if he's going to give relief, how is he going to overcome? Uh, by how is he going to overcome those deficits, and in, uh, by what taxation? We also like to bring to the notice of the government the rise of the underworld, which has also. Uh, resulted in two further deaths uh, taking place in Hikkaduwa and Matara today. Uh, I think we uh, we have seen that uh, with the Yahapal government uh, that politi politically affiliated underworld uh, figures uh, rising uh, and uh, in, uh, and the drug trade flourishing. Uh, I think when most people voted for the, for the uh, Yahapalna or the Hansia during the 2015 elections. This is not what people expected. Uh, now, the, the drugs have become a menace in every street corner. Uh, we know that there are uh, drug ped peddlers, and uh, we, we we wish to, especially bring to bring to the notice of the IGP uh, for him to stop this all this meditation nonsense and for him to actually take apprehend the, uh, these drug dealers and uh, to, for him to take meaningful action so that the underworld, uh, underworld can be suppressed and jailed, uh, just as it was done during the um, Mahinda Rajapaksa regime. And what we see is instead uh, the finance minister without doing his job as the minister of finance, trying to sling mud at Gota Be Rajapaksa uh, over a uh, statement made by, uh, 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 by the most venerable pri priest. I think the intent of that statement and, and the int intent of most people right now is people are just fed up. People are fed up with, uh, fed up with this government. People have lost faith in this system. So I think what the, pre uh, the, what the most venerable uh, monk tried to state was that if this system is not, not working, even a, even a dictatorship is better where a system works. Uh, but we also have to be mindful in making statements such as this. Democracy doesn't necessarily move from, move from a democracy to a dictatorship. It can move to other areas, uh, plutocracies, um, um, and other uh, uh, bureaucracies. So, so we, but I think 
in, in certainly uh, whatever the, the faults of this system has to be addressed uh, because people are fed up and the large percentage of uh, the countrymen and the citizens of this country believe this system is not working.